what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of ETS 2 and if you've seen the last episode you might be saying well what the flip is going on here uh, but I installed 1.7 of ETS 2 today and it actually reset my trip so I wanted to find a uh, similar cargo which I have a Red Bull trailer of course and if you noticed check out the new paint job on the truck of course with ETS 2 it also gave or the 1.7 version of ETS 2 it also gave you the ability to purchase some in-game skins Halloween kind of theme and I think this just looks freaking amazing this is the uh, spider web there's six of them uh, there's a pumpkin on your truck and all this kind of stuff but in today's episode we are going to be heading over to let's see what we got uh, Hamburg with some Red Bull which is still up in Denmark my last trip was heading up to Norway but unfortunately it reset me back to my garage after I installed 1.7 so let's get this show on the road shall we Alright, this truck looks pretty cool. This is a pretty cool combination, I'm not going to lie. Alright, let's make sure my handbrake is off. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Alright, so we are currently in Germany. Duisburg, I do believe. To get the Beamer. Nice, brother. Whoa, dude, where did you come from? Yeah, so 1.7 came out today, and the downloadable content, which are the uh, the six or yeah, I think it's six skins you get, uh, was a buck ninety nine Canadian, which is not too bad. It's kind of a new approach for uh, SCS software, but you know what? For two bucks, I think it's totally worth it. I think it looks amazing. So. It's not like they were charging 10 or 12 bucks for a couple skins for your truck, but you know, $1.99, I am perfectly okay with that, to be honest. And of course, with the new 1.7, the big part of that patch was the new Volvo 2014 FH truck, which I'm hoping to buy after I finish off this trip because I have to deliver my said cargo. And I don't know how I'm doing, actually. Let's check my snooze meter here. Ooh, not good at all. I wonder where the next garage is. Let's take a quick look at my map here. All right, I think I'll try to make it up here and have a nap. I don't want to drive in the nighttime too long with you guys aboard. But I have some amazing lights, so it's all good. So if you guys are just tuning into this half of the trip, we'll call it, you'll know that I'm wanting to give away a free game. Uh, a free copy of ETS2 to you guys just for being awesome and just to show my support for the game itself because I think it's an absolutely amazing title and those that doubt this game I think if they gave it a try would absolutely love it so I do have let's see what's going on here first a few entries so far and some of you guys <laughs> I've made some pretty epic comments over on my Facebook page, and that's what you had to do to get your name in to win. There's only six or seven of you guys in there yet, so chances of winning are fantastic. So, if you would like to get yourself a copy, a absolutely free copy, legit copy of ETS2, head over to my Facebook page, join in the comment sections that are there, and like I say, you don't have to like the video, you don't have to subscribe or anything like that. I'm not doing it to gain subscribers or anything, but if you'd like to subscribe, by all means, go ahead. I certainly appreciate that, but I'm doing this again just to show my support for this amazing title. And just a thank you to you guys more than anything else. But just go over and make a comment, and I'm going to pick from the one I think is the best. And you guys can read down through some of the ones that are there. I think you'll find them quite uh, entertaining, and uh, I'm really amazed at uh, you know some of the comments you guys have made so far. I, uh, I kind of like them. Pretty cool. So I appreciate that, guys, and I will be giving a copy of the game away on the 29th of October, which is this Tuesday coming, so it's only a couple days. All right. I'm going to try not to speed here. I have a tendency of speeding lately. Driving like a madman. Maybe it's a spider whip. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing as well I would like to mention to you guys, a couple of you guys have mentioned in the comments, do I stream at all with uh, 
ETS. Uh, with current work situations during the summer, it's very difficult for me to dedicate time to do that, and especially set it up and let you guys know when I go on a stream, because it's kind of spur-of-the-moment gaming for me, especially with work and family life, of course. But this weekend, I do have a stream set up with a couple of good friends of mine who are playing ETS. It's going to be a try stream with Oli, a.k.a. Chalk1, and Rebel, a.k.a. Rebel Forged. And we're all going to be driving transport trucks in ETS at the same time and streaming at the same time. So you guys can watch us all. And we're actually going to be giving away a couple copies of ETS2. And, of course, they are Steam copies. So we need to have Steam. But, of course, Steam is free, so there's no excuse for that during the stream so that's going to be pretty awesome so make sure you guys swing by and check that out the link for my twitch channel is in the description of course or over on my channel page so that's going to be pretty holy shit dude fuck sorry about that guys <laughs> the ai in this game i will tell you you need to proceed with caution i think that's the new volvo right there All right, sir, move your cargo. All right, we'll push you out of the way. <clears throat> it always seems like when you get in under these bridges, and there's an intersection behind you like this one, that everything just goes crazy. <clears throat> I'm starting to yawn already. Do you see? Like, come on. See? Look at traffic coming off the road there. No, I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oops. Alright, I'm just going to keep going just in case there's a car coming. And it decides. Another 50 wants to come behind it. I always find those intersections under the bridge very interesting to navigate. And I am so looking forward to getting the V8 in this Scania, which is level 25. Thanks to one of you guys for mentioning that to me. So I got some hauling to do. I'm actually going to have to grab a nap up here. So yeah, SDS is coming in with a ton of support for this game ladies. Very cool to see actually. I think they know they're on to something with this uh, title. Just wait till American truck comes out. That is going to be freaking beyond epic. Oops. All right, let's grab a quick snooze, shall we? You guys don't want to hear me yawning the whole way across uh, Europe, I don't think. <laughs> that was a quick nap. Better get some headlights on here. Make sure my badass lights are on. Nope. Seems like you have to do that every time. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, shit. That's a pretty cool trailer, you must admit. I've been scouring around trying to find some more interesting ones for you guys. If any of you would uh, that you guys have stumbled across that you'd like to, to see me tow, by all means, mention them in the comment section. I'd love to uh, take a look. I enjoy the mods for this game. I think they're great. So it's not too bad. Nighttime drive is not terrible. Why do I have a check engine light on? Oh, there you go. Oil pressure or something, maybe? What even is that? Alright, so we're on the highway here. I don't think this trip is over long. I think it was around six hours in game. It seems like you guys don't really particularly mind the longer trips. So hopefully you guys will get to see me park this time. Look at that trailer. Check that out. It's cool. And I like the, the aspect that when you install the mods, you see them elsewhere, not just uh, what you pick up yourself. You see them on the highway and things like that, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. And with regards to the Volvo truck, I gotta get uh, I gotta try that out because 
I know you guys would like to see it. I watched a couple videos on what it looks like already. Uh, I don't like the beige interior. I, I'm not going to lie. I like the darker interiors in trucks. And that's also the same way when it comes to vehicles. Or I'm a big fan of the blacks and the... Holy shit, my engine failed. That means... That is terrible news. I think I need to get to the garage. Okay, what's this guy doing? He's turning. Okay. Alright, dude. Don't want to cut you off. Sorry, mate. Yeah, once your uh, vehicle gets so much damage, your engine tends to cut out from time to time. It scared the living daylights out of me the first time it happened, to be honest with you. Yeah, the new Volvo has all the uh, digital gauges and things like that that you would expect from a more current model truck in the game. Looks pretty cool. I want to try it out. I'd uh, like to see how it pulls in comparison to the Scania. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Like... <laughs> Where are you going with your life? Don't you see I have a spider on my truck? This should give me the right away. Hamburg. Oh, oh. What was the speed here? That was a radar. Yeah, those are pretty cool skins. I gotta get the side screw for the Scania yet, as well as some uh, exhaust systems. And when you guys asked uh, in the last video, how do you upgrade your truck? You simply go to uh, a garage that's located on your map, hit the uh, upgrade button, and all your uh, available upgrades are available uh, in the menu system there. Very simple and easy to do. If you haven't seen any of my, uh, what I call, pimping my Scania videos, go check them out. They are in the playlist. It's quite straightforward FedEx. What's up, brother? Nice trailer. Not so nice as mine, but you know. Whoa, pay attention, Jamie. I actually uh, turned down the dead zone that was on my wheel. I did have it uh, probably about a quarter of the way up because I did notice when I took my eyes off the road, I sometimes would drift like you just see me doing. But I've since turned it back because I found the sensitive not the steering not as sensitive as I liked it to be honest so if you see me kind of drifting around I'm not drinking I promise <laughs> and you guys know I say this every video but uh, I appreciate your guys support with these ETS videos you guys will start seeing some battlefield content from me very very soon that's going to be out on the 29th. I'm looking very forward to getting back into that. Uh, I haven't played a first-person shooter in quite some time. But I am looking forward to playing some Battlefield with my friends. I do have to be quite honest with you. Also, we'll be picking up the new Call of Duty on PC. I know it's not really a PC game, but I did play Black Ops on PC. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to lie. Shit, Jamie. Pay attention to what you're doing. I think that's out on the 5th of November, actually. So lots of games, lots of good content coming your way on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. I play a lot of games. I'm not the master of any of them, but I enjoy all of them. So It's all in good fun really wish they would move that nav system like some of the newer trucks have the nav system kind of up on your your dash kind of right in your view i know a lot of the vehicles that we deal with at work nav systems are a little bit more in your view it's a pretty good looking truck in the nighttime though i like it if you talk about the difference that these lights make Look, holy shit, it's crazy. I mean, how would you ever, right? I mean, you can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, that last trip was going to pay me 295000 I got halfway there in the end. And that sometimes happens when you 
when they update the game that it resets you back to the garage. I'm sure you guys have experienced that. And sometimes when you install a mod that doesn't work properly, you have to your uh, your trip actually gets canceled, which which is unfortunate. But I mean, you don't it doesn't cost you anything. Whereas if you cancel a trip in game, it actually costs you twelve thousand euros. So that that's a bit of a pain in the ass. So therefore, you don't want to cancel any trips. So I think this one's paying around eighty thousand. Uh, this will probably be the last time I tow a trailer with this mod because the, tra the the actual payments you get for the trailers are, are a bit high compared to what you would uh, get for normal trailers. I don't know if it's, uh, I guess it's a part of the mod that the guy who did it had the dollar value turned way up, which, you know, you want to keep it as real as possible, so I don't, I don't want to be pulling trails for 300,000 a shot. Chucker. <laughs> Not that I bonded too much, but <laughs> gives you a chance to buy a lot of things and upgrade your garages and things quickly, so. But you want to keep it real. That's right. That's why it's called a simulator. Too bad I wouldn't be able to use this wheel in uh, Battlefield for driving tanks and stuff. That would be uh, badass. hour and 20 minutes out 4 41 a.m. is our estimated time of arrival so it looks like it's going to be a night delivery stock those stores red bull when everybody wakes up get their day going i mean i am currently driving what is my speed right now 110 115 kilometers an hour <laughs> this is the 480 scanning if you've never seen uh, the last video i did mention i did upgrade oh no i did upgrade my truck Damn, that was a cool trailer. You see that? Oh shit, I need to get off here. It's kind of a different off ramp. Okay, this is different. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just the gears, Jamie. Look at that. We got three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna have my truck beat up here. I'm not careful. There's that same trailer again. It looks like a like a Michelin tire truck. It's pretty cool. Amesburg. Look, we have one, two. Wow. It's a big highway. Well, that was kind of interesting. Why did I have to turn down here? Now I'm back on the same highway again. Different. sense to somebody I guess so yeah like I say a couple things in this video to take note of head over to my Facebook page uh, if you're looking for a copy of the game I'm excited to give you guys one just to show my appreciation and make sure you pay attention if you don't follow me on Twitter as well guys you should do that because I'll be tweeting out where and when we will be doing that try stream that's going to be a lot of fun the guys are great so where am I going right now? Looks like I have to turn up here, actually. Yeah, and the chance to grab a copy of the game. I mean, if you, if you get the, the game for nothing, you try it, you don't like it, well, it's nothing last, right? But I pretty much guarantee you will enjoy this to the fullest. It's just a fantastic title. Has me absolutely hooked. Not gonna lie. Love it. Now, obviously, it's a it's a lot more enjoyable when you have a uh, steering wheel like I have, the G27. But it can be played with a joypad, and of course, if you have a PC, you can plug in an Xbox controller if you have one lying around. But with the keyboard and mouse, it's a painful experience. So I would not recommend trying it with that. But it works. I mean, if you want to see what the game's all about, you want to try it. Hamburg discovered. Haven't been here before. It's a beautiful place, man. Hopefully one of these days I'll get to go to Europe. See all this stuff for real. OK. 
Okay, we have ourselves a roundabout here. Yes, we do. I think I should maybe turn off my high beam lights in town. That's probably a good idea. Everybody's sleeping. And you guys must admit, since the first time I posted one of these videos, my driving has improved tenfold. I think it has anyway. Click on my map here so I can get it up here. Show you guys where I'm at. Just find it a little bit easier when you get in town as opposed to looking down at your nav all, all the time. I did find the Peterbilt was a little bit better in that area actually. The nav was a bit higher in your in your dash. Yellow light, don't give me a ticket! Big ass turn. Hey, where am I going right now? Seems uniquely different here. Holy shit, dude! That AI sometimes. Oh my god, there's a truck. Dude, you're gonna have to stop. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Oh, it's not. Uh, sorry, dude. But he should have seen me there, don't you think? It's his fault. I will not take the blame. If you guys don't tell me anybody, I won't either. <laughs> All right, Red Bull to New Hamburg. Now, where are they going to try to get me to park with this? I find some of these locations sometimes are a little bit unique, to say the least. You coming, trailer? Yipper! Oh yeah, this one's good. This one I should be able to do. The last time I parked a trailer was absolutely horrendous. Sometimes I can get them right straight away, but other times it's just not good. Alright, so where are we to here? I always cut the wrong way first. I don't know why that is. I do that in real life as well. Jamie, don't fail this. Alright, we got it, we got it. Ever so slightly straighten your wheel. And I like to use my mirrors to keep the try as real as possible for you guys. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's nail this. This is looking good, folks. Look at that. Like a champ. Handbrake on. Engine off. Delivered! Satisfactory. <laughs> Damage penalty, seven percent. Wow, that cost me a thousand bucks. Cheese. They call it cheese. Do you see that? All right, guys. Let's just get a look at this truck and trailer set up again. Whoa. Pretty freaking amazing. I think I really like what the. Uh, you know, it's just not overkill, because sometimes with a lot of these skins, I mean, with the 150,000 lights on the front of your truck, it's not that real, you know what I mean? But 
I kind of like this uh, look, to be honest with you. Something I can keep on there for a while, I think. Maybe I'll check out some of the other ones as well, but I think this one is the best looking model. It's kind of a, like, a, like a purplish kind of tint to it, actually, if you guys can see that. But anyway, thanks for tuning in to this episode of ETS2. And don't forget to head over to my Facebook page, as I mentioned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please remember to do so. But that's it for me, guys. Until next time, keep on trucking. Peace.